Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up and use emails in the Power Dialer. You can send emails with attachments to the client you're calling and you can forward emails with lead information and attachments to someone else. If you're using a Gmail account as your email address, this will make it simpler to set up in the Power Dialer. If you're going to use a non-Gmail account, you'll need to get all of your login information from your email provider. Now, let's begin. Click on the Power Dialer button. Click on the Email button. The email window opens to the main screen. To set up your email account information, click on the Email System tab on the lower right of the window. In the Mail From field, Enter your email address. If you're using Gmail, hover your mouse over the SMTP field and a tooltip will appear with the Gmail SMTP server information to be entered. If you're using a non-Gmail account, enter the SMTP server information you received from your provider. In the Authentication section, if you're using Gmail, Enter just your username without the at gmail.com. If you're using a non-Gmail account, enter the username information you received from your provider. This may be your entire email address. Enter your email account password. If you're using Gmail, hover your mouse over the port field and a tooltip will appear with the Gmail port number to be entered. If you're using a non-Gmail account, enter the port number information you received from your provider. Click Save. Your email account has now been set up in the Power Dialer. Before I leave this screen, I want to briefly cover the items up on the top right. If you check the top box, the email window will automatically close after the email is sent. If you check the middle box, all attached files will be deleted. Be aware this deletes the files off of your computer. Leave the third box checked. The script box is next. By selecting a number in this box, you can choose which script is to be automatically loaded into the email when the email window is opened. If you select zero, no script is loaded. To show you how this works, I'm going to change the box to 1, click on Save, Close, and reopen the email window. Notice that script 1 has been loaded. I'll go back and change the script box to 0 to show you how to manually load a script. Save, Close, Reopen. Notice the email is now blank. Now I'll show you how to send an email with a script to a client you're calling. If there's an email address in the phone list record, it will already be in the Send To field. You can enter or edit an email address in the Send To field. However, if you want the new email address to replace the existing email address, you have to enter it in the phone record and click on Update Changes. For the subject line, you can enter text here or have a script load the subject. In the body of the email, you can enter and edit text directly or you can use a script you have created. The script buttons on the right are used to manually load a script into the email. The script tabs below are used to create and edit a script. To edit Script 1, click on the Script 1 tab below. Delete the example, and you can either type or copy text from Microsoft Word or some other program. Any changes you make to the message will be saved automatically. The subject will be saved if you enter text in the subject line and click the Save button on the right. Go back to the main screen and click on the Script 1 button. You'll see the new script 
and subject line. After the script is loaded, you can edit the message to personalize it further for the client. Once you've loaded a script, the person's name shows up in the first line. The name is taken from the first name field in the phone record. As mentioned before, you can add attachments to the email. After attaching a file or files, if you click the Save button, they will be included with every email that is sent. If you click the Clear button, they will not be included with the current email only. If you click the Delete button, they will no longer be included with any email. This delete only removes the files from the emails, not from your computer. When you're ready, click Send Now. You should briefly see Sending Now before the window minimizes to the taskbar and then closes after the email is sent. Now I'll show you how to forward leads or other information to your supervisor or someone else. First, let's enter a note to be included with the email for this record. Click on the Notes tab, click on the Date button, and enter your note here. Click on Update Changes up above if you want to save the note to the record. Click on the Email button. Click on the Email System tab. To easily forward a lead, attachment, or other information to someone else, you first need to set up their email address in the Send To list. Click on the Click To Edit button. Notepad opens. Delete the example and enter the email addresses you will need to forward emails to. Enter one email address per line. When you're done, click File, Save, and then Close Notepad. I'm also going to uncheck the Close Email box so that the email window will stay open after the email is sent. Click Save. Now go back to the main screen. If there's a client email address in the Send To field, delete it. Click on the drop-down arrow under the Send To field and select the email address you need. Change the subject line, and in the body of the email you can enter text if needed. Then click the Get Lead button so that the information from the record is loaded into the email. Scroll down to the bottom of the email and you'll see the note that was just entered. As mentioned before, you can add attachments to the email. When you're ready, click the Send Now button. Since I unchecked the Close Email After Sending box, this time you should see Sending Now and Sent Successfully. The email is sent, but the window is still open. Click the Close button to close it. That's it. You're done. You now know how to set up and use emails in the PowerDialer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.